Hello everyone. So in this tutorial, we will be taking a look at Runway. So Runway is a creative suite that allows us to use AI or artificial intelligence to generate different forms of media. So this our artificial intelligence is tailored towards media creators or those who you know would like to have a go at generating content. So what is Runway? If we take a look at down here, so Runway uses different AI magic tools to generate different outputs. So it uses the Gen 1 model. And if we take a look at all of this, with the magic tools, we can generate videos, can generate images based from text prompts. We can do some outpainting, so infinitely expanding images. We have some change of style. Uh, we can also create our own models. We have a chance to remove, so it's in painting. Allow animation for images, remove backgrounds, and many more. So without further ado, let us go ahead and start the tutorial. So I'm going to go and click on this Try Runway for free. And here it tells you to log in. So if you don't already have an account, we can create one. So let's go ahead and do so. So as soon as we're able to sign up, we are presented with this uh, landing page. So on the left side, we have all of the different tools that we have. So we have our account, uh, we can create new projects. Here are the magic tools, AI training, different projects shared with me, different assets and templates. Currently, as soon as we sign up, we are automatically put into the free plan. And we have in the free plan, we are given 125 credits. Uh, we can't buy any more credits and we can create up to three video projects, five gigabytes of assets, up to three editors, 720p video editor exports, and limited AI magic tool options, uh, export options. And then on the second one, we have the standard edition. So of course, you, uh, you're able to unlock more items. And then our pro edition is this one on the right. Uh, in this tutorial, we will continue with the free credits. Therefore, we are limited to the magic tools that we have. So some of the magic tools here, are actually not available for the free plan, such as removing background, motion training, replacing background, uh, and removing background. At the moment, we are able to do so because we are given a 400 free credits trial here, or equivalent to 37 seconds. So this will allow you to have the chance to actually try these out and explore the different tools that we have. So if we go ahead and click create new project, we can either create a video composition or we can start using the magic tools. So green screen in painting and motion tracking. I will go ahead and try a video composition. Let's go ahead and click continue. And then of course there will be some tutorials, but we can go ahead and skip that. So as you can see here at the bottom, we have our timeline already. And then we have a sample video that we can uh, view. So if I click, if I press the space bar, it should run here. So we do have some demo assets that we can use for this. And uh, again, everything is in beta mode. Uh, you're able to edit everything here. So the main thing that we will show in this tutorial, not specifically for the editing itself, are the magic tools that Runway uses for this editor. So if we go ahead and go through all of this magic tools, we can use green screen in painting and motion tracking. So I'm going to click on green screen. Uh, 
and now we know that we are using the green screen at the moment because it puts a green screen right here and as you can see here my cursor has changed to a plus so this is we are essentially generating a mask uh, letting the AI model know that we want to include this as our foreground so of course there are some more general controls that we want so if we want to get in even more details we can choose to zoom in or zoom out more on the background itself uh, so I'm, I'm fairly happy with this so we, let's just zoom out now here on the right side gives you more of the controls of the magic tools green screen so at the moment i am in include mode but if i click on exclude mode we can actually choose points for the ai to notice so at this point on what we should be able to get is the outline of this surfer and then removing this entire background itself so if we scroll as you can see here it is tracking everything all the way until it's gone so this is all happening in real time so it's very responsive this is very good it shows the power of the AI that it's capable of motion tracking everything really quickly. Uh, if we're not happy with the tracking, we can add additional masks and it will do everything as it can. So once we're done with the masking, we can go ahead and go here on the bottom right and then go to project. So now, now what we have done to our original footage is we have added the green screen mask. And as you can see, this is the output that we have. So if I press play, then we should be able to see this. Okay, that's great. Now let's say I want to, I want to add something at the background. So let's go ahead and go to assets and then uh, demo assets. Then we can choose here different items. So we do have some images. We have some uh, videos and then we have some sounds as well. Let's try putting this on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this and drag it. So you should be able to see here okay so as you can see this picture is actually on top so we need to put the surfer up so that we can actually see him in there so now you can see that we've put the image at the back and we still have the masking happening right here so that shows one of the ai tools that runway utilizes so we can actually go back to the others and we can go ahead and try them out Rather than creating a project, let's go ahead and try the different magic tools that we have. We've been able to use this remove background feature as well as the motion tracking feature. Now what I want to do or now what I want to try is in painting. So if we uh, select in painting here. So as you can see, the magic tool we have selected is in painting we can go ahead and try a different asset so let's double click that and let's say let's choose uh choose this one okay so i am just scrubbing through taking a look at what kind of things we can remove so say, for example, I want to remove this container right here. All I do is click on the brush icon and then start to draw on top of this container. And the AI tool will try its best to remove this by understanding the scene and replacing it with a different image.
uh, you can see it has actually removed that container and tried to replicate and understand the image behind it. So if we go ahead and click preview, you can see that it is doing its best to remove that item. So the AI tool is very powerful enough to really understand the scene and remove them as well. Now let's take a look at another AI magic tool. So now we have actually generated two projects. So one where I created a project, another one is when I tried a magic tool. And as you can see in the free plan, we only have three projects which we can use. So if you want to be able to use all of the magic tools, then what we can do is you can either upgrade it or of course you can just create another account to have a go at all of the different tools that we have. So now I would like to try the latest Gen 1 video to video project that we have. So let's go ahead and click this. And of course there is a limitation as to how much you can use per frame rate because we are in the free plan. So let's go ahead and double click this and add a video. So what I will try to use is I'll try this skydiving uh, before. So let's go ahead and drag this up here and it should load. So this is the original output. We are. Now we have some few options right here on the right side. So it would understand everything that it can. We could add another image or a video here. And we could also try to do a prompt. So describe your output here. What we can do is a an eagle flying alongside the diver. Skydiver. Okay. I'm intrigued to see what this will do. And then, of course, you can do it in different styles. In the settings, we can choose the style strength. So the style strength, if you take a look here, it shows, controls how much to transform the original image based on the style reference. Okay, so the style reference will be this. And of course, however much of a strength do you want. So if we go all the way to 100%, then it will pretty much create something relatively new. And if we take 0%, then it would stay to the original image as possible. So we usually put this at around 50 so that we get uh, what we want. We can click on preview styles to show us uh, what it would look like. So as you can see here, what this has done is it's understood that everything is, you know, it's it's a skydiving scene. So it's understood that there are clouds up here. So that's something that has replicated around here. I'm really curious as to what will happen here. So I'll just go ahead and generate the video. So of course, for a pre-plan, the generation will take a lot longer than usual. And of course, if you want to make it faster, we could go ahead and upgrade. And once that the video has been regenerated, we can go ahead and click play. So it only takes to four seconds, but as you can see, it's managed to create something new. I'm not really sure if I can see, I think that's supposed to be an eagle right here. Yes, so there is an eagle right there, which is exactly what I wanted it to do. So an eagle flying alongside the skydiver. That's awesome. So there you go. So Runway does have a lot of AI magic tools that you can go and take a look at. So it's not just video and images, it's also text and audio. And you can go ahead and play a lot more with these. 
So the input is quite simple or the general input is creating a prompt as to what you would want to make. And then Runway ML will do everything it can to understand the scene and to generate those context. So have a play around with this and remember that the free plan is quite limited, but I hope that you have found this tutorial helpful. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe and we will see you next time.